but I just try to print out hello world. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be allowed to the selection cannot be launched and there are no recent launches. Remember that you will have to have a main function. Without the main function, your execution starts from the main function. So can you see public static void main this line bring it back. Mm -hmm. And then uh, now it is complaining string right string args. So that put that as uppercase. Mm -hmm. Now you run it. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Got it. The thing is basically the public status. So in Java, everything is class. Everything is class. Your code, can you see line number three? Line number three is where you are, your class is starting. Now, now your execution will be started from the main method. Wherever you have this public static void main method, that is where initially it will start executing from. Can you see line number six is being executed, right? Here, from here it will be started, the execution will be started. And then you you can write different methods. You can declare other classes, right? All of the things you can do. But this is your starting point of the execution. From that is where your execution. You might have thousands of other lines of codes, but your execution point is this line number uh, from, from your main method. The main, like main method. Main method from where you. So um, that is where you are stuck and uh, you cannot move forward anymore after that? Yes, uh, okay. that's why I'm not here to move forward. I see, I see, okay, that makes sense. All right, so um, Nahibai, are you ready to share or you need more? Yeah, I'm going to share the opening of the Sanami or Google Hangout. Yeah, bring it from Google Hangout then. Or I can uh, I can bring the document in my computer, whatever you have shared with me. Uh, and now before I go for that, Navid, you want to share your other works? Let me real quick pause the recording and uh, so that we do not make it too long. And yeah, so I have a pretty uh, good amount of um, material. Those I need to deliver you here in this class. Okay, all right, guys. So I hope like next one hour right I'm, i'll be fully discussing a lot of thing on selenium so you put like it will be a very basic it will be a very basic thing that i'm going to discuss but it will need your uh, full uh, full attention so that um so that we are we are um, able to move forward because me moving forward and do it in my computer is not that much because I already do it in work, right? For you, grabbing it, whatever I'm doing, and from there, uh, you know, you are able to do it. That is what is needed at this point. Now, I'm going to do an example from scratch, totally from scratch. You follow, and then what do you do? You do the same thing for your homework for the coming week so whatever i'm doing here whatever from now on till next one hour you do it in your computer from a to z and then you send it to me right you make sure you understood it that is what your job will be for this upcoming week now so let me close each and everything that i have here 
I'm not going to uh, discuss anything existing. I'm going to do it with you. Okay. I'm going to do it with you. Now, did I show you where you will be downloading the Selenium library from? If I, if I haven't, I'll show you where you will be downloading the Selenium library from my collaborator. Okay. Now, to, to start from scratch, right? What we are going to do today is, let me close this. If you come to your LM and here, let's go back. Let's take a look at a test case. Test. Uh, you know, share it. Yeah, let me share. Let me know when you can see my screen. Okay, so now if you go there, right, can you see uh, a positive login? Let me see if there is a positive uh, login for qaquestions.org. Let's say we choose uh, the login test case that Nipa did. It is not here, right? So we can do a full criticism of our work. So here, open browser, navigate to QA questions, right? Contact us, login menu item will be displayed. Contact on login menu item, login page will appear. Input a valid username. The username will be displayed in the text box, right? Input a valid password. The password will be displayed as a click on login. Login successful message will be displayed. So we are going to do a full automation of this test case. Does it make sense? We will automate this full test case, right? Can you see the test case from LM? We are going to automate this full test case today by using Selenium, WebDriver, and Java. Okay, this is our goal. Now, let me close this. Um, this is my Eclipse, right? These are existing projects, those we did in the past. Now, I'm going to open a totally new project. And that is where you will be starting as well. Project, right? And then this project will be a Java project, Java project next. And my project, right? Let's say I'm going to name my project as my first Selenium web driver project. Now, can you see the way I have named it? Can, can you see like the, the way I followed to name this uh, project? Can anyone ex explain this naming convention to me? Camel case. Camel case, right? Now, there are two types of camel case. Upper camel case, lower camel case. So here we have followed, here we have followed what? We have followed lower, lower camel case. What is that lower camel case? It starts with a lower case letter. It starts with a lower case letter and then, then every word that you have, it starts with a lower camel case and then every, every word uh, every word that you have will be will be starting with a uppercase letter. Does it make sense, guys? Afterward, every every word that you have, like can you see my first Selenium web driver project? So this camel case suggests that your first um, your first word will be starting with a lowercase letter, and then afterwards every every um, every of your word will be starting with a uppercase letter okay now let's go back name it and then whatever default selected i'll keep it as default and then i'm going to say finish 
no and then let's say this is my project my project is created now here uh, if you take a look right if you take a look i have this project here now in this project can you see this src folder that is where your source code will be will be there so we will write our source code here so as a part of our source code at a part of our source code what we are going to write is remember that uh, we have previously discussed the first thing is your the first thing is your package so you normally put everything your code everything in, in the package everything uh, that you include in your project will be under a package so the first thing that we are going to create is a package so how do you create a package right you go there and then you right click on your source folder and then new and then in under new can you see there is a package you click on package so now your package again your package name will be lower camel case right here silver driver let's say package i'm going to change the name a little bit finish and then now you have a package under the package you are going to create your class we are going to have detailed discussion in with in class but everything in java is all of your code will be in a class inside a class right so right click and you create a new class right and what will be your na uh, name of your class right so again class name right class name if you put it lower camel case here right and then it will uh, it will it will be uh, complaining that this class name can you see the name is discouraged because this is we are not following the correct so class name it is a, like you do not have to declare class name by following uh, by following the convention but if you do not do it if you do not do it it will be complaining so we will name it by using upper camel case what is that upper camel case that it will be class name will be starting with the upper case letter and then all of the convention regarding uh, camel case will follow okay and then here can you see i'm going to include a public static void main string uh, program so remember i'll tell you what is that public static void main okay now this part right the uh, about the name let's not worry about it but the only thing that you need to know at this point is your execution when you click on play can you see this is where if you want to play your code that is where you click and then your execution will be started with this main method whatever you have inside the main method can you see the starting of the okay let's say the starting of the class is here and can you see it is pointing out this curly bracket that means the ending of the class is here now this class inside the class we have the main method this is the main method now the starting of the main method is here and this is the ending of the main method whatever we have in between is the body of the main method now when you click on this play button your execution will be started from this main method that's it now can you see this is comment in coding comment means it's comment it will not be executed comment will never execute like when you when you replay when you replay do you see anything in the output here in this screen no because this is a comment and comment start with double forward slash now so how can you how can you actually do something that will be executed right so there is a comment uh, there is a command statement system dot system dot out give it a little bit time system 
system dot out right dot print ln print ln so we are asking so by this we normally write something in the output so let's say we are going to write my execution is starting starting my execution is starting right now if you execute you will see something in the output window so now can you see that uh, it is saying okay my execution is starting but after that we do not have anything else so that's why it is not doing anything and then can you see that your this part is not doing anything because this is a comment whatever you see started with double forward slash this is a comment and this comment will it is just for information it is not going to be executed it is not going to be uh, it, it will not create any impact on your output so so does it up to this do you have any question guys okay okay so here if you take a look I have written okay my let's say my um, my execution is starting here now what what do we do normally in our um, execution right so what is our goal here the first thing that we do if you look at our test case right the first thing we have to open the browser the first thing that we will have to do is we will have to open the open the browser so to open the browser right right to open the browser let's say we are going to use chrome browser not internet explorer not firefox right we are going to use internet explorer to open the browser now to to start to start internet explorer right to start internet explorer uh, sorry to start uh, google chrome right you will have to go to internet and if you type down load chrome driver right download chrome driver and then can you see downloads chrome driver can you see this you click on this and then here you will see can you see this chrome driver 81 right now after that can you see okay chrome driver mac Chrome driver Windows 32 right can, can you see this Chrome driver Windows 32 you click on that right and then 4.2 giga mega, megabyte you click on that show folder and then it will take us to the folder show folder so I'm going to take it out from here and then I'm going to save it. Let's say I'm going to create a folder here uh, for let's say new folder and then I'm going to name it as selenium selenium web driver okay selenium web driver and inside there i'm going to create another folder name it as resources right inside the resources folder i'm going to paste it you can choose whatever you like so here i'm going to unzip it okay is unzipped now i do not need this zip file anymore i'm going to delete it okay now where do i have my chrome driver i have my chrome driver in that path right i'm going to copy this path okay and then what is my driver name chrome driver dot exe chrome driver dot exe now um so here if you go back to your code if you want to 
if you want to use chrome driver that is what you will have to do this is a syntax system dot set property right can you see system dot set property you will have to select that and then what is the key for chrome driver right we will have to write web driver web driver dot chrome dot driver this is syntax syntax means this is like whenever you want to start chrome driver you will have to write that and then here in the double quotation you provide your path of the driver where you have the path of the driver now i have copied that path right and after that what do i have chrome driver dot exe right if you take a look here in this path what do i have here i have after this path i have this chrome driver dot exe right so that is what i did now let me make this one a little bit like this and then i'll have to remember every line of your code will be ending with a this is a statement remember this is a statement every statement will be ending with a semicolon this is a complete statement now this is part of the code that we will have to write in order to in order to use chrome browser for our testing now the next thing after setting this property the next thing that we will have to do is we will have to um, create a class of the web driver so what is that web driver class right so if you want to interact with the browser in chrome or any browser right with like selenium right selenium has selenium has libraries remember we are talking about selenium libraries this selenium li libraries with the selenium library library means what library means in library we have books in software in library means we have like some experts programmer some expert programmer have written a lot of code for us that we can only call and use it right so we are going to use one of the class that comes with selenium library and that class will enable us to interact with the browser from the code it will enable us to interact with the browser now what is that class that comes with selenium library right it is a web driver class so how do you declare a web driver class web driver right and then this is the class name now you declare an object of that class let's say i'm going to say my driver you can give any name here but this one is the you have to give it in the proper way okay and then this is my object and then how do you declare an object of that class you say new now i am going to declare a object of the chrome driver chrome driver now so what i'm doing here this is a web driver class that comes with selenium library i'm declaring an object of that class right and the syntax for that i'm going to put a chrome driver in it so i put new chrome driver now here can you see it is complaining about uh, if you click on this bubble here you'll say you want to create the class chrome driver no we do not know all the code those we need to write to uh, write the chrome driver class so we are going to take help from selenium library now where is selenium library right so if you go to your browser and if you type download download selenium um, selenium libraries selenium library right here can you see selenium dot download selenium right you go there selenium oh, is it the correct link uh, selenium server yeah selenium server one second uh, server, uh, 
to the java right selenium finding or development based findings okay so here the latest selenium server is of this we are going to download this library you can see java and then download selenium alpha download changes api so let me see what i have here selenium language actually let me see what is that yeah so this is the library that we need so here can you see download i'm going to click on that and then i got this folder here i'm going to say show in folder So it will be there once that is ready. So I'm going to take it out from here and then I'm going to put it where I have my resources, right? I'll be going back here, I'll be putting it here. And then after that, I will be unzip, extract all. Okay, this is the path where I want to extract. Okay, so now if you go back, I do not need this zip file anymore. I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now that is where I have my Selenium libraries, right? Now I'm going to go to my code, right? Can you see this is my project, right? Is that correct? This is my project. I'll be clicking on my, pro right click on my project. And then can you see uh, build path? And can you see configure build path? And then here, can you see libraries? You'll be clicking on this library tab. And then can you see add external jars? And here, where is my jars? If I go to C drive, and then this is my folder where I, which I created. And then uh, over there, Selenium web driver. And then I have my resources folder. And that is my Selenium. Can you see this library is? Okay. So let me see what it brings. If these are the correct libraries, hopefully these are. So open and then I'll be going again at external jars. Remember, I have two more libraries here. Right? This and then I'll say apply and close. So now my libraries, can you see under there is a reference libraries here? These are the libraries those have been added. So now if I click on this, right? If I click on this, now can you see import web driver? Previously, it was only showing create class web driver, right? Now it is giving me option import, right? If I import, it will be imported from these libraries. So the details of these classes and objects are in these libraries. I'm just going to import it. Now, when can you import them? Once you have import these libraries first in your build path, then only you can use this syntax here in your code. So I'm going to, as, as many error as I see, I'll be clicking on this bubble here. Now, can you see the error is gone, right? The error is gone. So here, if you take a look, I have declared an object. So that is the object that I'm going to use to open a browser. Now, if you run your code now, right let me just close all of this browser from here actually let me uh, take a screenshot of this of this test case that i am automating right and so that if i close the browser i have the test case okay so normally manual test uh, uh, will be creating this test case if you work as an automation tester you will get the test cases from the manual tester 
and then you will be looking at their steps and then you'll be automating it right let me close all everything else what i have now i have um, no browser opened here right now if you run your code up to this right okay so let's see what is the complaint that we are getting so first of all right first of all the version of chrome only supports chrome version 81 right exception in the uh, create an exception please okay so the session not created this version of chrome driver only supports chrome version 81 so let me see in my chrome right what kind of uh what version of chrome that i have now if i go to my settings right actually in help and then can you see about google chrome i have version 80 80 right so let's see if i can update it version 80 this and then let me see google chrome open source software is is up to date so my browser is up to date now let me see what error message that i get starting chrome driver 81 on port this in the local connections are allowed please protect ports used by chrome driver and look at chrome as a malicious code exceptions in code main as that you can also know session not created exception and then this version of Chrome Web only supports Chrome version 81. Read info this, this, and see. Let me see what the code is saying. Okay, so let's say that this Chrome driver. If we go back a little bit older from I'll say uh, I'll let you know what you will be doing but for me for an experiment let me do this so let's say I have older drivers here if I put this one let's see how it happens I'm taking the Chrome driver from another location and if I execute it now okay is there any complaint at the moment new Chrome driver no complaint right so okay so the execution is done no complaint so let's say that the chrome driver that we have downloaded is the latest one and it is saying that it is not able to support that so what i'm going to do is download yeah the last one is ad but this error message is a little bit Weird. I am trying to see like if there is a latest version of Chrome, right? That might be, I do not have in my computer. But let's see, like I'm trying to find a solution on this. And I'll give you more information. So if I say download Chrome driver again and Chrome driver, can you see chromium dot chrome driver? You go there and from there. Can you see Chrome driver 80 probably? I 
down downloaded this probably so if you download this can you see latest stable version right can you see this stable version you click on that stable version now if you go back right so here i think last time i downloaded this but can you see this uh, latest stable release can you see this i'm going to download now this one okay. i'm not sure what version was that so the error message that we received with that it was saying that we have 81 we are trying to run 81 but 81 is not supported that is what the error message was saying so i'm seeing that can you see chrome driver 80 version that is what i'm going to download now for another experiment because previously i have downloaded 81 and it was not supported with the browser because browser is a little bit you saw that browser is we have only up to 80 right so if you go there again let me take it to my resources folder and here i'm going to put it and then let's say i'm going to rename this one the old one to a different name underscore 81 so let's say this is the one that I have downloaded now. Now, extract all, extract, and then I'm going to remove this, this one. Okay. Now let's say that from this one, right? If I take the path and go to my code, let me close this browser. If I put this one here, right? Now let me run it one more time and see what happens. Yeah, so let me now tell you actually what happened, okay? So you saw that from this website, the version that we have downloaded now is this. Which one is this one? Is that correct? Can you see that is what we have downloaded now, right? And it is working. Is that correct? What is the version on it? 80 and then 0, 0.3987 and 106. They are saying, okay, this is the latest stable version of Chrome Chrome is available in the market. Now, if you take a look, the previously the one that we have downloaded, beta version, beta. Can you see it is 81? That 81 version is not available in the browser if you take a look right if you take a look at your help in your browser you will see that 3987 80.0.3987 i do not have a browser that is 81 but i have downloaded when i have downloaded the driver i have downloaded this driver for this driver my browser is not up to date because this is a beta version it is not in the you in software testing you will hear a lot about beta so the software before it goes to production they launch the beta version what the beta version does it is not in the production it is just for experiment so this beta chrome driver is experiment it is not in the market that's why our code was complaining does it make sense now everyone do you have any question up to this so what you will be doing right you will be clicking at you will be saying like this download chrome driver and from there can you see chrome driver dot chromium dot org right you will be going there and then from there make sure that you are downloading this stable version can you see this latest stable version that is what you download okay now when you run your code you saw that when you run your code it it starts a browser right can you see it starts a browser but we do not have anything else in the browser 
it starts a empty browser by code okay now what we are going to do we are going to use this object we are going to use this object my driver dot can you see and then can you see there is a method called get right and then here I'm going to put the URL for the and if you take a look guys your questions dot org right if you go to this browser can you see now it is a secure browser can you see it is a secure that means I have purchased the license secure license so that my site is secure right so that's why you will also see if you copy this URL and then if you go there paste it here can you see HTTPS instead of HTTP it is now HTTPS it is a secure website now so now if you if you run your code again with that what do you see you tell me what do you see the browser is open and what did it open with it opened the browser it opened the browser with Google Chrome okay now let's say that um, the next task according to our test case right if you take a look open browser and navigate to qaquestions.org first step is done and now we have a validation point the web page will be loaded and QA questions logo will appear on the upper left corner of the website now we have to like when they do manual testing they manually verify okay the logo is appeared but now we have to validate it by our code now what do we have to validate we have to validate this logo by our code does it make sense everyone so how do you validate this um, how do you validate this right so let me bring this website let me bring this website in in a regular browser so that I can keep um, okay I'll rehab it here now can you see this we have to validate this logo appear is that correct so how do you do that if you right click and then can you see there is an inspect button here you click on that inspect button and then here right can you see that we have a title and then we have a text and then we have a URL right now let's say this is the title of the website title can you see title Q interview questions this is the title of the website this logo now you understand what is that this is the title what is the title QA interview questions this is the title of this um, this particular logo now if you make sure that this title is present in the website then we can if the title is there QA interview questions if we can verify that then we can comfortably say that this website is loaded with with the logo is that correct so if, if we want to verify this logo is there what what if we can verify that the website title is QA interview questions if we can verify that then we can say okay uh, the page is loaded right is that correct do you understand what I'm trying to explain here okay so if this is the case right if this is the case you can get the title you can so what is your uh, what is your expectation here your expectation is you will you will see the QA interview questions this title is there in the website now now what what is our expectation let's say our expectation is 
expected title expected title what is expected title expected title is qa interview portions okay now this is like i want to see when the web page is loaded i want to make sure that it has this title i'm setting up my expectation now can you see i'm saving this string to a to a container here now in java if you want to save anything to a container you will have to declare a variable you have to declare a variable string i'm going to declare a variable string so now let me explain this so i said string str expected title equal to qa interview questions what does this mean so let's say if you want to drink water right you will have to take the water in a glass and then you'll have to drink it right or in a cup you have to drink it if you want to eat rice you'll have to put the rice in a in a bowl or in a plate and then you have to drink it if you want to drink juice you have to put the juice in a cup and then you have to drink it if you want to drink coffee you have to put the coffee in a coffee mug right so i'm trying to put my expected whatever i am expecting i'm trying to put it in a container in a glass this is my glass now what what is this glass right to store coffee hard coffee if you put it in a plastic that is not suitable for that if you want to store acid right you will need definitely a specific type of container otherwise it will be melted right if you want to store uh, something else let's say if you want to store stone right you will need a container that is pretty you know firm so that stone can be stored there right so here i i am putting my expectation in a container now what is that container is it made of plastic is it made of metal is it made of clay what what is that so that is what i'm saying this is a string in java string means where you put something like text text or number but it will be uh, string means it is alphanumeric it can be a number it can be a uh, letter it can be a mix of things but remember string will always be in the double quotation can you see this is my actual string and the string is uh, you know and and like in string is inside a double quotation right so this is my actual string and it is it is um, it has quotation around the around both side right so that is what um, a string is now this is my expectation that i am expecting this the web page will be loaded with this title now now so this is my expectation now what is what is the actual what is the actual title in the web page right now that is what you can uh, again you can get the actual title from the page how do you get the actual title from the page you can get the actual title from the page after you have launched the browser right we, we already have launched the browser here right so what we can do we can get the title from the page itself now i am talking about my actual let's say str actual title i'm talking about my actual title what is my actual title equal to my driver dot get and can you see there is a function already comes with selenium right now again this str actual title it is complaining about that what is that now i'll have to say what type of container it is right again this will be a string container okay so here i have um, oh, i have my actual title uh, expected title and then i am bringing the actual title from the page can you see i am bringing the actual title from the page and then I, I have both of the information right now what is the what is my next step can you can anyone explain what is my next step
Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Now, now I have my expected title. I have my actual title. The next, the next thing is. Next thing is do the comparison. The next thing is what? The next thing is just do the comparison. Next thing is what? Just do the comparison. Now for comparing these two things, right? What do I need to do? The the compare to compare, I need to do a comparison. So in Java, right? In Java, how do you do comparison, right? So let's say I want to tell if this string equal to this string, then I want to say, okay, my title matched. Otherwise, I want to say, okay, if this is not equal, I want to say, okay, this is not equal, right? So the title, I want to give a message, the title will be. So here, there is a syntax called if, okay? If you write it in that way, and then this is your body for the if, and then if the condition is not true then you write else and this is the body of the else and now what is the if right this is my expected title i'm going to put here expected title dot and then can you see content equals you select this and then what are you comparing it with you are comparing it with this You put it here now what happens we are saying if expected title dot content equals that means we are saying if the content in the expected titles is equal to actual title if it is true then we are going to say that we are going to give a appropriate message system dot out dot print ln we are going to say that base loaded with with a correct logo right now if it is not true if this part is if this part if the comparison is not true then what do i want to write i want to write this I want to write this. What do I want to write? Page loaded with incorrect. Incorrect logo. Does it make sense up to this? So if my page is loaded with correct title, then I'm going to say, okay, this is, this will, str expected title dot content equals will be true. This condition will be true. Right. So now let me put a breakpoint here. Okay, I put a breakpoint here, right? Remember, guys, I put a breakpoint here. And then actually I'll be putting a breakpoint here as well. Okay. And then can you see this bug here? Right? Can you see this? This bug? I'm going to click on this bug. Okay, and then it will say, you want to start execution? Yeah, I want to start execution. Okay, so what do we have here? Right, can you see our execution now is waiting for us, where? Here, can you see this guys, where the execution is waiting for us? Do you understand up to this? The, br the browser is open, but the page is not there yet. Now understand how to debug code. It is very important that you understand this debugging process. First of all, I put a breakpoint here in line number 13, and then I click on that bug. That means my code, it is, it is called debugging code. Debug, debugging. Debugging means go step by step, look into your code. Okay, now can you see, 
I have a browser opened, but the website is not opened yet. Okay. And where are where is it? Is my code waiting in line number 13? Can you see the arrow here? This arrow that means my code is waiting here in line number 13 because I had a breakpoint here. And on the right hand side, can you see the variables here, guys? Okay. Now I have a my driver variable. That's fine. Now can you see if I execute this line number 13? What will happen? Can anyone tell me what will happen if I execute line number 13? Mm -hmm. Which page? Okay. At the moment, do you see the website here, qoquestions.org? Yeah, we, we are waiting in the breakpoint. Now, how will you execute only this line? I just want to execute only line number 13. Now, can you see here this yellow arrow step into and step over? You will be selecting step over. If you select step into, this code has a lot of code inside the Selenium library. I do not want to go inside that. I just want to step over this. Can you see this step over? Right? I'm going to say step over. And then after executing line, I mean line number 14. Now, if you go there, can you see the page is now loaded? Is it clear up to this? Guys, can you talk? Okay. Now, do you see any other variable here? My driver is, is already there. We have used this my driver variable, right? It is already there. Now, you will see in line number, we are in what line now? Line number 14. In line number 14, what should I see? I see I am saving my expected title in, in a variable, str expected title. Is that correct? I have a container here that I am going to fill with content. Where, where the content will be coming from? This line number 14, can anyone explain? Where that content is coming from? Yeah, where where this content is coming from? Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm saying that okay, I'm filling a container with content. What the container? The container is str expect. And what content I'm filling with? I'm filling with this content. Where this content is coming from? No, 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 no. I'm putting stuff in the STR expected title container. And what, what am I putting? QA interview questions. Is that correct? Where this content is coming is it is hard coded. I'm just I have a fixed content, I am putting it in that container. Does that make sense? Now, what line I am executing? Line number 14. Now, I am doing a step over again. Now, can you see here in the, the we have another variable and in that variable, what do I have here? QA interview questions up to this. Do you have any question? Can you see? Now, str expected title, I have QA interview questions. Does it make sense, everyone? Now, in line number 15, what am I doing in line number 15? Yeah, pl please speak up. What am I doing in line number 15? Yeah, what title? Can you just explain what I'm doing in a brief word? So again, in line number 15, again, I am dumping content to another container. This is another container. And this time, where am I getting the content from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like 
Now, what am I putting there? Mm -hmm. No, I'm asking you, what am I putting there? In line number 15, I we all know we are putting con some content in the container. What is the name of the container? STR actual title. What con what content are we putting there? Mm -hmm. The QA questions. How? Title. So, title of what? Title of the browser. Now, here the content is coming from from the browser, right? When I say mydriver.get title, by mydriver I have opened qaquestions.org. Now, it will be bringing the title of that particular website. Does it make sense? Okay. So now, right, if you execute this particular line again, if you do a step over, can you see now actual title that we got from the website is again QA interview questions. Does it make sense? Now, in line number 16, what are we doing in the line number 16? Mm -hmm. If we no, no, no. Explain it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. No, what I'm what I'm asking in line number sixteen. Can you see HTR expected title? What do I have there? I have Q interview questions. That is my expectation. And then I'm comparing this if the content is equal to actual title. The actual title that we get from website. I'm asking, my expectation is this. Now, whatever I have got from the website, right, by this line, compare it with my expected one. If the content is equal, then if the content is equal, if it is true, if this line is true, then this part will be executed. If this is not true, then else part will be executed. Okay. Now you'll see that where where do I have my cursor? I have my cursor in line number 17. And then from line number 17, page loaded with correct title. Can you see? With correct logo. Can you see the output message? And then will it execute the else block now? No. If you go, can you see the execution is done? Right? Now, now question for you. Let's say that. My expectation here, this. What will happen? Okay, let me execute this again. I mean, let me debug this again. Okay, now we are waiting in line number 13 and the website is not loaded yet. So if I step over, now you'll see that the page is there, right? And then if you come here, can you see HTR expected title? Q interview questions, right? If you step over, I have this Q interview questions in the variable. Now I'm trying to get whatever I have in the website, right? Now, what do I have in the website? Can you see? Here it is, the A is lowercase. Here it is, A is uppercase. Because in the website, we have A is uppercase. But I said, okay, my expectation is I should see a lowercase A. Now, if you compare, what will happen here in line number 16? Now, when you are saying, okay, HTR expected title dot content equals HTR actual title, it is not equal, right? Both of these content are not equal because 
over there we have a difference in the letter right now you will see that instead of instead of if block now it is going to the else block and then it will print can you see page logo incorrect logo does it make sense up to this code who have question now please come forward with the question Now you tell me like what question you have. Anything else? Any question up to this you want to ask me? So my for the test case we write on the question. What is that? Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll be writing if else condition. There are other ways to verify it, we'll be learning them. This is a this is a preliminary discussion. But whatever we have written, do you have any question up to this? Or you do not know any question at this point, but question might be coming in the future. How about uh, Mahid Bhai and uh, Sharmin? Breakpoint. Breakpoint is nice by is simple. If you put a breakpoint like let's say I have a breakpoint here. If I click on double click on it, the breakpoint will be gone. If you want to bring that breakpoint, you double click. Can you see this dot 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 area? You double click here and then you click on this debug. Any other question, nice by? Java, yeah. Any other question? Are you there? Charmin, can you hear us? Charmin, we cannot hear you. Okay. Now, Now, let's do this. So, according to the test case, right, we, we made sure that the browser is there, right? Uh, the browser is opened with right logo. Now, if you take a look, the next step is hover over to contact as many. Now, this hovering, right, can you see if you go to this website, if you go to this website, and then the next step here you have to hover your cursor here you cannot click if you click on contact us right if you go to that that contact us space right is that correct now i think you have written a test case for uh, contact us right so instead of going to hover over there is a hover over is a different thing we will be doing it but before we go to that let's say we want to do your contact us test case okay according to your contact us test case we, we have to click on this contact us and then we have to verify functionality here is that correct okay so to click on that contact us link right that is what i'm going to do now now if you again you will have to um, you will have to oh, sorry. give me a second give me a second guys
Okay, so here, take a look, right, guys? So what, what am I going to do now? I'm in the home page, right? The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this contact us link. Is that correct? So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, I'm going to inspect it, right? And when you inspect, right, can you see? We have a href, we have a contact us link text. Can you see contact us? What this is, this contact us, right? This is a link text. Now, how will you identify that object? Okay. Now, few of the syntax that we will learn going forward, right? We can identify an object by different ways. One of the way uh, we is um, if you take a look, right? What is that? Can you see that tag name here, right? The tag name is A. What is the tag name for this contact us? What is the tag name? A. A. A means link. A means what? Link. A means what again? Link. Just remember that. And it has a text. Can you see after the greater than sign, before the less than sign, whatever you see here is a link text. Link text is what you see in the screen, contact us. And when you click on that con uh, link text, it will take you to that particular page. This is the URL where you will navigate to. Now, A means what? Can anyone explain A means what? A means link. A means link. And whatever you see after the greater than sign and before the less than sign, it is the link text. Does it make sense? Guys? please yeah now we'll go back to our code here and then let me show you how we are going to handle that now what is my driver everything we are going to do by the driver my driver dot right my driver dot and then can you see um, find element can you see find element you select this find element and then my driver dot find element and then by dot by dot and then if you type l if you type l what will you see you will see that there is a link text can you see guys dot link text right now here can you see this selected text here you put double quotation and put that link text sorry well, sorry i so if you go there right from there from the website you double click on that and then right click and then copy and then you go there uh, instead of this link text you put your link text contact us right and then after that you want to do what on this you want to click on this link right is it clear keep your Let's remove all of this breakpoint. No, for for your for your contact us test case, you hover. For your contact us test case, you click on it. If you if you want to contact, right? You click on it, and that's it. This is a contact us. Oh, actually, I think you have written test case for feedback. This have you written any test case for contact us itself? You did. So for contact us itself, when you click on it, then the contact us case appear. Make sense? Any question? Okay. So here we are going to buy our code. We are going to click on this. We are going to click on this uh, contact us. Now, can you see, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And uh, in the meantime, I put correct title. That is my expectation, right? Now, let me uh, debug this code again. Okay, so now I'm waiting here in this line number 22 and let me see what can you see the web page loaded and then we are in the home page is that correct 
the home page of the website is that correct guys now if i execute line number 22 what should happen it should click on the contact us link is that correct okay so let's do this let's let's execute this line okay and then if you go back to your website out there can you see we are in contact us phase okay we are in contact us phase so now now let's say that we are in the phase the first thing that we have to do is we have to verify that the page is loaded before i do anything right so how do you verify if you can get this if you can make sure that the page header is displayed right this page header is displayed then you are sure that okay the page is loaded is that correct okay so what i am going to do now my execution let me finish this execution yeah. my execution is done and every time can you see i am i am uh, opening a browser it is remaining there so i need to at the end of my execution i need to close the browser so to close the browser here right what syntax do you need to write you need to write yes my driver dot close okay now yeah if you write close can you see that the browser is staying here whatever browser you have opened this browser is here right every time if it keeps opening browser then how many browsers will be there and uh, if you open opening and then it will be consuming a lot of memory right if you take a look in your task manager every time it open a chrome browser at the moment how many instances of chrome browser we have opened two this one and this one right now can you see each of the chrome instance it takes if you take a look here each of the chrome instance takes pretty good amount of memory can you see a pretty good amount of memory 202 megabyte so if you keep closing it will be safer now if i execute you will see that it will be opening the browser and then it will be closing i'm i'm executing instead of instead of debugging so if you execute it you will see it will be opening the browser and then it will be opening the website it will be clicking on the link so it is it is it is opening the website it is clicking on the contact us link right and then it has closed the browser does it make sense do i have any any chrome browser uh, like the program open do i have it opened still no this that is what i opened manually by by my hand right so does it make sense everyone when clicking on contact us the next thing that i am going to do here is i'm going to verify that this contact us this contact us thing is there okay so to do that again again right so i will what is what is my expectation here i am expecting this contact us text will be there so let's say you declare uh, you uh yeah being expected title mm -hmm. to else condition just mm -hmm. copy on the form and then just change the syntax yeah let me let me do this we are going to use the same variable right so remember if you have declared it once this expected title you have already declared it once you can use it as many time as possible but you cannot declare it one more time next time you will only be using it you are going to put a new value in it okay the declaration is already done does it make sense no because you declare it once and then you can continue using it 
just change content that's it now what is the content do i have here contact us contact us let me write it right contact us okay this is my expectation right now remember my driver get title will not work here why what get title is only for item yeah now i'll have to i'll have to get the content of this object so now what will have to i'll i'll have to do i'll have to inspect this contact us right now can you see this is it right what what is the tag name here h1 what is the tag name tell me again what is the tag name h1 and what is the text contact us okay h1 and then what is the tag name contact us understand this now i'll be familiar familiarize you with the with the x path okay now can you see i have a x path here x path here this right just uh, copy this i'll be sending you this document copy this and then go to your code and here here right this is my driver and i'm going to put this here i'll tell you what i'm doing now it is i know that this is my driver our what is the name of our driver my driver is that correct find uh, element my driver dot find element by dot x path right by dot x path let me see what is the complaint here str actual title web element oh yeah we'll have to say something here now what is the name of the tag here No, 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 no. What is the name of the tag? Tag is whatever you see. H1. H1, right? Now you go there. Instead of tag, you put H1. Right? And then text equal to. What is the text of this? What is the text of this tag? This one. Whatever you see after greater than, less than, smaller than, this is the text. Right? So this is the text. You take this text and then you put it here okay and then what are we trying to do we are trying to get the text of this element so we are going to say get text can you see okay now now page loaded with correct header is loaded with correct incorrect error. now you tell me what is your question so before you i go for your question can you see what i am doing i am up to this can you see up to this is the object my driver we are saying find element by dot x path and then what is the x path i form the x path from a syntax I said, okay, my tag name is H1, and that tag has text. What text it will have? Contact us. So I have identified the object, and then on that object, I have performed a get text. I'm asking, okay, from that object, bring the text inside that object. Bring the text of that object. Now, if I put a breakpoint here in this line number 23, and if I do a debug again, okay, now can you see str expected title? That is what my expectation. I'm going to put my new expectation here. Now, what, what is my new expectation? I want to see contact us in the page in the meantime you will see that it has already clicked on the contact us menu right and then contact us page loaded right and then if you go there 
next line, line number 24. We are saying my driver dot find element by dot x path. Now I am asking from the website, bring me the from the website, bring me the bring me the text of that particular object. Right? Now actual title, what do you see here? Contact us QA questions, right? But after you execute this line, you will see it has brought the content from the page. Right? And then I'm doing the comparison here. Right? Close browser and I'm done. Now you, you tell me your question. Are we good up to this? Guys, can you can you speak up? Charmin, night bye. Are we good up to this? Guys, are you there? Let me see. Oh, it seems. Uh, night bye. Okay. You there in the call? Yeah. Let me continue. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a name here in this text box. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert a name here in this text box. So to do that, again, I will have to inspect this element, right? And then if you take a look again, right, can you see this object has, has a name, your name, right? Can you see, guys? This object has a name. Can you see? So when you identify object, remember, you will be identifying object, you will be using these properties. Whatever properties you have, this object, the, again, what is the name of this object? The, the tag name is input right and then it has type it has name it has value it has class right if you see this kind of num numeric you do not use this to identify that object it will be changing it has area required true it has area invalid false right it has a lot of information now if you if you use type equal to text then if you inspect another one right you'll see that that one has type equal to text as well can you see oh type equal to email right and if you say this one uh subject right let's inspect this this one type equal to text now this one has type equal to text this one has type equal to text now if you use type equal to text to identify that object then it will be confusing right so we will have to use something that is relevant to this particular text box. Now, can you see name equal to your name? Right. So here, if you take a look at my instruction here, there is another X path where we are going to say attribute name and then attribute value. Right. We are going to use this one. I'm going to copy up to this and then in my code after this i'm going to put this line here and then what is the name of my driver my driver i changed my name and then can you see now what is my tag name guys again what is my tag name my tag name is input input after the after the less than sign in the beginning Whatever you see, this is your tag name. What is the tag name? Input. You put, you change the tag name. Input. And then attribute name. What is the attribute name that I'm going to use? Right. I'm going to use. What is the attribute name? I'm going to use the name attribute. Right. And what is the value of that attribute? The value of that attribute is your name. So I'm going to go to my code and then I'm going to say. What is the attribute I'm going to use? Name. And what is the value of that attribute? Your name. And then I'm going to say dot send. Can you see send keys? Okay, I'm going to use a name. I'm going to use your name now. Okay. Now if you execute it, right? Let me execute it. 
totally rest of this execution and then let me execute it and i didn't put the breakpoint you will see that it will be inputting the name nabe okay let me put a breakpoint here okay and then do the execution okay now we are in line number 30 what what are we going to do in line number 30 we are going to input the name nabeth in this text box now can you see where where where, where am i going to input this name in this your name text box does it make sense so now if you go there and then if you step over right now if you go to the website can you see the name is there okay so in that way in that way you make sure that that your execution is good okay so so wh what is the question can I now go uh, go back for question? Do you have any further question up to this? Your your question might be, okay, how do I know when I'm using XPath what to use, right? Can it be a question? Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's say that we have identified this object by link text, right? Let me comment out this. Let me first copy this and comment out this. And then here, find element by dot instead of link text, I'm going to say xpath. Now, let me bring the syntax for xpath from here. I'll be sending you this document, right, so that you can use it. Let me bring the syntax for this one and then let me put it here. Okay. Now, can you see that by dot xpath and first of all, I'll have to correct my driver, my driver dot find element by dot xpath. Now here, right, can you see that tag? If you go to that link, particular link, you come here, um, home page and then contact us right now this contact us if you inspect it right click inspect okay now this contact us what is the tag name here what is the tag name a and then what are we going to use let's say we are going to use this h ref property we are going to use this h ref property so here you go to your code and then put instead of tag put a and what is the attribute that we are going to use href what is the value of this attribute the value of this attribute is right the value of this attribute is i mean Oh, it is going to the link. I don't want it. So how do I copy this? Let's say I put my cursor here. Actually, I can right click and I can say copy link address. And then I'm going to go to my code. And then instead of attribute value, I'm going to say this. And then I'm going to say dot. So that will be working as well. If you execute it now, let's say I'm going to uh, put a I'm going to put it so that it doesn't go quickly, right? I'm going to put a break. Uh, I'm going to put a um, wait time here. Let's see if I can put a wait time. So thread dot slip. I'm going to say millisecond, right? I'm going to say 10,000 millisecond means 10 second. So before it close, it will be waiting 10,000. Uh, actually, let me put 
five second wait time here and then if you use this this thread is not safe so you will have to add throws at the declaration so you'll have to select that now if you execute the same code right Right. and you see it is waiting now five seconds before it closed the browser and it was able to click click on the contact us link right there is another way you can add now i'm going to comment out this as well and i'm going to bring another syntax to identify that object so can you see this this is the text right i'm going to use the text to identify that object now if you want to Identify that object by XPath and text. Can you see you will be using this text syntax? Okay, now you copy this text and then you go to your code and then create a new syntax here. Now, what is your tag name? A and then text. What is the text value? contact us right and then you put dot what do you want to do oh we'll have to correct it this one otherwise it will be my driver right my driver and then contact us dot remove this dot click okay now if you run it it will be working as well so you can identify an object in many ways by using XPath. You'll see that it will be going there. It will be clicking on that login and then, right? Everything is working for us. Is it not working for us? Guys, up to this, do you have any question? Whatever you did, do you have any question? yeah definitely definitely you'll have to do it by myself i have recorded so what i'm going to do i'm going to send you this syntax right if you if you see you have to you have an attribute name can you see this you copy this you copy this and then you have to you see what is your tag name what is the attribute that you are going to use to identify that object and what is the value of that attribute let's say if you have to identify this link right what will you do you will right click inspect so here you will see again this is a a and then uh, if you identify it by text this is the text right if you identify it by href this is your attribute name and this is your attribute value right in this link so you do practice by yourself and then see how much progress you can make and if you have any question definitely you get back to me does it sounds like a plan guys okay so i'll be as i said i have recorded this session i'll be sending you the recording but initially it will be this is java language this is computer science student that is what they learned throughout their four years degree so this is this is not that much easy let's say that this web driver right for example if you do it this d is uppercase if you put it lowercase it will not work so you have to be sensitive about this it is very case sensitive we call it java as a case sensitive language you have to be mindful about the cases right let's say chrome driver is over there c is lowercase if you put uppercase it will not work right so make sure that um, you follow the instructions. I'm going to send the video. I'll be sending this syntax how you can write expert, right? Do your practice and then uh, your task will be to automate a test case, complete test case, whatever you have written, right? In your LM, you take a test case on your choice and you automate it. Okay, so uh, with that, if you do not have any question, I'll be summarizing and concluding this session here 
the final chance if you have any question other than that i'm going to end this session here so your task if you have a test cases due if you have a uh, uh, defect due you write it in lm if you have a database work due you do it and on top of that you have a java selenium homework as well that i have completely recorded that you will be able to follow i'll be sending this recording probably in a couple of hours all right guys so uh, remain safe in this coronavirus season and uh, let me know if you have any question that's all for today all right thank you thank you bye